All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So this is it guys. All right, we have finally arrived at the last legit campaign on Global before the five year anniversary begins and I am just stupid hyped, man. I mean, my body is ready, my stones, not quite there yet. We have 1400, I plan to have over 2000 by the time the dual Dokkan Fest drops, and I'm probably going to pick up more after that too. It's going to put a pretty big dent in my wallet, but you know what? I don't care. It'll be worth it. But you know what? Before that, we do have to get through this Fizz Beerus campaign first, and it's actually it's actually a really good celebration. Like Even though it's not nearly as hype as what's coming directly after it, I think it's still really, really solid. I'm excited for a lot of these events, so without further ado, let's check it out together. All right, here we go. So this new campaign is called Transcending Dimensions, Battle of Gods campaign. Various events are here. New SSR Beerus will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Summon Beerus and show the enemies the God of Destruction terrifying strength. All right, now, if you guys saw the preview I did, he is very, very good. This guy hits super, super hard. And uh, in addition to luxurious login bonuses, a new stage of a Dokkan event and new prime battle event, and a new Extreme Z battle will also be available during the event period. Okay, so I don't think there's going to be any surprises. I'm pretty sure I covered everything in that data download from like two days ago. So I don't think there's going to be anything new, but we'll still go through it. All right, so first things first, we have the login bonus, pretty standard stuff. Let's have some special missions, of course, with every campaign, there's special missions. And oh, by the way, by the way, make sure you guys do those like five year countdown missions every single week so we don't miss out any of the tickets because in total we can get 55 right but there's i think there's four missions every single week they have to complete and then they will change over to the next week with new missions so if you guys miss the weekly missions you can't do them again so make sure you guys get those done just a quick psa all right so next up we have 30 percent off in the baba shop for trade points um that's fine all right that's what that's cool and uh, some Dragonstone sales, of course. So we have 12 stones for 50% off, 32 stones for 50% off as well, and also 91 stones for 20% off three times. So these two are once only, and the last one is three times. Very mediocre sales, but no surprise. They're obviously saving the best sales, the really good sales for the actual anniversary. And then we have the Dokkan Festival, the banner. There's the STR or the Wii Speed. The Wii Spears. There is the Fizz Beerus and also the STR Wiis. Uh, both really good units, obviously. The Wiis, even though he's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, uh, performs really, really well. So definitely want to pick up both if I can. By the way, I will be streaming my summons later tonight when the banner drops at uh, 2.30 a.m. Wait, I think it's 2.30 a.m. for me. So 2.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so in about, I want to say six hours from the time this video drops if you guys can make it that would be awesome if not i will post it as a video later on too for anybody that misses the actual stream so it's all good but try to make it all right try to make it if you can next up we have the uh elder kai banner for those of you that are short on kai's might be worth a couple of summons and then we have of course the dokkan event for the beerus himself and also the revamp for the battle of gods story event and i think we can get up to I think in the preview video, I said 21 stones total for this with the, the missions as well as the stages. So that's pretty solid. A good amount of free to play stones right there. And also a farmable God coup on global, finally. And next up is the thing that I'm personally most excited for that I didn't really see coming until we got the data download, the LR Prime Battle Krillin. I think tomorrow I'll do a stream like sometime in the early afternoon and just finish the whole thing. It might be like a six hour stream, but I'm just super, super excited for this guy. So I think we're gonna get him done on day one. All right, so try to tune into that one too if you can. But of course, if you can't, it will also be archived on the channel later on. And after that, we have a new Virtual Ultimate Dokkan Clash or Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, also known as Dokkan Battlefield. No surprises there. And a couple of story events coming back. Uh, the uh, World's Strongest Nipples, the Strongest Rivals, and also the Rage Vegeta. And after that, we have the Weekend Summon... Oh, the Weekend Banner is coming back. Sick. Okay, so the Weekend Banner, as well as, of course, Weekend Tickets, which I'm assuming we're going to get through logins and also some special missions. Okay. 
And what else? Um, we can summon, okay, so special missions, login bonus, and then the actual banner is this one right here, where we can get some, potentially, pull some LRs on that banner. The chances are pretty low, but it is possible. And then we have the return of the tech type banner, which is coming in about a week from now with the token awakenings for the tech Tian and the tech cell. Both of them really, really good units. And uh, of course, the extreme Z awakening for the Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So there's the uh, banner for that. There's the Master and Disciple banner as well. And uh, also the Pilaf Stro Pack and then the event itself. Okay, cool. Now, of course, we have the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Token event available every single day. And uh, also the Strike event for Tien being available every day too. Interesting. And some other story events coming back. So we got the Unknown Battle, the Secret of Planet Patafu, but Pataufu, I forgot how it was pronounced, but the uh, Copy of Adida event. And lastly, the Fight Against the Spare Future Trunks and Future Gohan event, which is amazing for farming gravity chambers. All right, so if you guys are low on gravity chambers like I am, then uh, make sure to farm the crap out of this. And the return of the Extreme Z area for the free to play trunks, and also the return of the Prime Battle Cell event. Okay, so. That's it guys, those are all the events, let's see what the login bonus looks like, or special missions first I guess. So 29 total between, oh, yeah, so as, a, as, a, as suspected, there is a part 2 to this campaign, because like I said, I didn't expect this campaign to go on for, at least, at least one part to go on for like a whole month, right? So we're getting part 2 here, starting from the 14th it looks like, so in about a week, interesting. And uh, in total, it looks like we're getting 29 Dragon Stones, I guess between part one and part two. Not the greatest, honestly, but I mean, it's it's something. I didn't, I didn't really expect too much. Okay, so 29 stones for the missions between, I guess, the two parts, or maybe it's only part one, probably part, part, probably both parts, honestly. Okay, and then after that, have the login bonus, uh, one stone per day, sweet. All right, so yeah, like I said, guys, this is the lead up to the five year anniversary and uh, I know I'm not surprised that like the stone sales, the login bonus, the special missions are not that impressive. Obviously, uh, they're saving the big stuff for the actual anniversary. So uh, don't be too disappointed. All right. If you're not happy with, you know, only 14 stones for the login bonus or only 29 stones for the missions and so on and so forth. Um, the big stuff is, is coming soon. All right. We have less than Actually, probably exactly a month from now, because it's the seventh right now, and I expect the dual Dokkan Fest, the blue Vegito and the blue Gogeta banners to drop on either the seventh or the eighth, just like last year with the Super Saiyan Force. So uh, it's gonna be sooner than later, right? It's gonna be very, very soon, guys. I'm hyped, I'm stoked, I can't wait, and uh, that's it, guys. So quick reminder: I will be doing a stream. I will be doing a stream to do my summons for the Fizz Beerus in about six hours from now on this banner of course and uh, after that I get some sleep take a take a break from the game and then we'll be back with a five six seven hour stream depending on how long it takes to uh, finish up this Krillin and oh wow ultimate clash is back too so I might do ultimate clash in the same stream depending on how I feel by the time I'm done the Krillin grind so it could be a I don't know the, the stream could last all day I don't really know how it's going to go. We'll, we'll decide. It's going to be a game time decision. All right. So, oh, weekend banner, of course. Is it going to be right now or? Oh, no, that starts on the 14th. So basically that starts, I guess, starting with part two of the celebration. Oh, by the way, part two. I've heard a lot of people uh, speculate that we're going to be getting LR, Nappa, and Vegeta, which is a distinct possibility because I'm pretty sure... Nappa and Vegeta released around the same time as the Prime Battle Krillin on JP, right? So, um, yeah, definitely possible. I mean, if they want to bait us a little bit more with a unit that I think a lot of people, or like at least a decent amount of people are pretty hyped for, uh, Nappa and, and Vegeta would do a pretty good job, man. I mean, I would summon. I'm not going to lie, I would summon. I wouldn't do too many stones, but I would probably do at least like 500, so... Uh, we'll see, man. Part 2 coming soon. Probably another summonable unit before the anniversary starts. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Fizz Beerus Celebration, Fizz Beerus Banner is here, and or very soon. And, uh, yo, anniversary.
right around the corner, man. Literally right around the corner. All right, that's it. That's enough. I. <laughs> you guys get the point. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. That is today's news update. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. We are currently at 90k subs. I want to get to 100k before the end of the five year anniversary. So if you guys have been watching me for a while and haven't subbed yet, but you enjoy the content, then consider subbing to the channel today, getting us to 100k or at least a little bit closer. Every sub counts, obviously. And that's it, guys. Enough talking. I'm done. I'm out. I'll see you guys very soon on the summoning stream in a couple hours. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.